See if Fabio is ready to come in. There he is. Round of applause for Fabio. Hello everybody, my name is Fabio Ciccarelli and I'm delighted even more to be here today to present my talk especially made for the Diplomatic Award Tournament 2017. Before I even start my presentation, I would like to thank all the people who helped me along the way, especially my manager Gavarkis is there taking pictures, and a few of the bartenders in, um, in my hotel. I also would love to mention my older brother, who was a great inspiration for me. I still remember him mixing his drink when I was around 10 years old, and I knew since then that I wanted to be the best. I started working behind the bar when I was very, very young. I think I was 15 when I made the first cocktail, cocktail in the worst nightclub in the world. <laughs> Growing up, I always felt in love with the bar world. Since last year, I decided to move to Dublin with big dreams and very, very little English. I did some progress in my career, but as you can hear, not really with my English. But seriously, it's unbelievable how my whole life in just one year has changed from I don't speak a word of English to I'm shaking on this stage to represent the Shelburne Hotel. And this is actually the main concept behind my drink. What I try to do is go back to the essentiality of how things used to be when I first began. Basically, before I moved to Ireland. In my drink, you will see three ingredients plus the smoke, just to refer back to this essentiality. And also, Touch the earth as a name. I felt it again to link this essentiality and to refer back to the distiller in Venezuela of Diplomatico, which is in an amazing place surrounded by forest deserts. I got inspiration for my drink by an old fashioned and this simplicity, bitter, diplomatico, which is gonna be the main ingredient of course, and a sweetener, which is gonna be vanilla. Every cocktail bar should be able to reproduce my Diplomatico cocktail, but of course, Diplomatico Reserva, the rum I'm going to use is a must in it. Drinking Diplomatico Reserva, we will be able to taste dried fruits and have a very nice and soft citrus aftertaste. This citrus aftertaste is not going to be strong enough to balance my sweetener and the vanilla, so I decided to start my drink with lemon bitter. I'm using bitter truth as a bitter for two main reasons. Bitter truth has a flavorful note of coriander and cardamom in the background. These two elements are going to help me to get the lasting finish of Diplomatico Reserva even longer and more complex. And also because bitter truth is the first brand that actually made lemon bitter. So I can say that I'm using the original one. As I said, the lemon is needed to balance my sweetener, the vanilla. Now, why vanilla? In Venezuela, we have the biggest production of vanilla in the world. We have the biggest production of vanilla in the world, and also because vanilla, we can identify vanilla as one of the measuring spice in Diplomatico Reserva, so I decided to exalt this flavor. Yeah, I'm sharing, definitely. Oh, don't make it worse. It's like to make a few of my Italian really bad job. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to explain why I'm using Diplomatico, I need to speak about, why Galliano? I need to speak about Diplomatico and say who is the man on every battle of Diplomatico, Don Quancho, Nieto Melendez. He had a burning passion for liquids, rum, and spirits of every genre. He used to do long trips to the Caribbean to buy spirits from all over the world. So, I did few researches by myself, and I found out that in the 19th century, 
the spirit market between Caribbean and Europe was getting bigger. Merchants used to come to Ireland to buy whiskey and Italy and Spain to buy liquors. So it's actually possible that Melendez hold a few bottles of Galliano in the 19th century, exactly like me, like now. And now, the main and most beautiful part of my cocktail, the Bravico Reserva. Before I start to speak about this specific rum, I'm not shaving anymore. I'm <laughs> Before I start to speak about this rum, I would like to say a few words about the company. What I like more about it. One of the core values of the Diplomatico company is to preserve the environment. It's amazing how they found a way to recycle 100% of the um, solid waste without even speak about the beach cleaning and tree planting. I would say that this company more than touch the earth is trying to save the earth. Also, I have to say about Diplomatico Reserva that is a great balance between pot steel rams and light column steel rams. And is a um, run of balance of sorry, very sorry. It's a balance of rams age up to eight years. So make it very enjoyable and smooth. The main flavoring spices I see are vanilla and also there is oak. This is why I'm going to smoke the glasses with dry oak, which are gonna give my cocktail the last touch to make it perfect and more enjoyable. I never work in a microphone. Not using in the shower, no? No, no not for always. Touching it. They should, though. I'm going to smoke the oak straight into the glass without touching the mixing glass. I'm leaving the, the ice on purpose because I need a little bit of dilution of the ice and then just gonna smoke the glass without cover it because I don't want to overpower the smoke. Just a bit touch the mixing glass. How are you today? Fabio, what's your favorite cocktail yourself? Old-fashioned. Well, of course, you want. That's the right answer. Yeah. It was an easy question. I'm trying to help you. Thank you. garnish it with a nice lemon twist. To, re to call back the bitter I used in the drink. But I don't want to use the oil essence to not over overpower the smell of the lemon because you need to get the vanilla and the oak and the lemon all together. This one, and you had me with the question. This is for you. Thank you very much. I just want to say something before you drink this cocktail. This is the final product of an year of hard work and changes. So I know this is going to sound very mainstream because all the bartenders always say that. But drinking this cocktail, you will actually taste a bit of my soul at least all the work I did in this year. Hope you will like it.
guys, up next from the Shadow No Cap is Fabio Ciccarelli. Yeah, practice it. <laughs> yes. Shock. No, 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 it's microphone. Edible, somebody asked me to cover him. He's, he's fine. Yeah, he, he was running down rough and free like a girl. Like, you mind if I cover him? Yeah? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Very loud, isn't it? I'm really warm, by the way. <laughs> so, now you are asking why Willy Wonka is on stage. So, before I say how I got to know Fabio, I need to say... I need to say how I got to know Diplomatico. So I was, I was down in Venezuela picking my cocoa beans. And I saw the distillery of Diplomatico and I was just like, this is amazing. So, because the chocolate factory was going in crisis, I just decided to drop down my CV to the Diplomatico, thinking they would might meet a crazy guy around. And actually I got hired, so Clive, I'm gonna work with you from now on. Is that okay? Now, how I got to know Fabio? No, Clive is around. How I got to know Fabio? To all the bartenders. They got the Diplomatico box dropped by Clive. Not Fabio though. My first job was to give him the box. And as I used to do in the chocolate fabric, factory, sorry, I don't really like it, I don't even remember how it's called. It's different sometimes. Yeah, exactly. I used to put golden tickets in the chocolate bar. So as I was dropping the box, I was like, I'm gonna put a golden ticket as well. Now, in the same style, we used to have five golden tickets, right? I have four beautiful people in front of me. I think nobody mind if I give you... Yeah, of course. If I give you four golden tickets. One is already talked by Fabio, so sorry guys, he's in. Now, he told me what to do, he told me I should do that, I should... I was not listening, I'm really wrong, I don't really care. I'm gonna do it by myself, okay? So he said, don't put food on the table, it's not a good thing. I will really won't again. These are amaretos from Italy. He's from Italy, if you don't know. He loved them. He keeps saying, don't use them. But again, will you won't. Now, you can look at that. You remember the first guy in the chocolate factory? How we went down? Because he was the first yeah. man. The first man, yeah. I don't even remember his name. Ah, he said chill the glass, they would mind. Augustus Yeah, exactly. So, now I should make the cocktail, but if I have to tell you the truth, I'm not a bartender, I dress up like a bartender. I don't really know what to do. He was like trying to teach me something. He was like, try to do that. Did it work? Looks like it's working. Now, again, he gave me a recipe. Not gonna follow it. He said, don't put anything if not for a cocktail. No. No, I put marmalade in a cocktail. It's not this cocktail. Yeah. So, I'm gonna put a nice bitter marmalade. You know Caracaranabel oranges? They are produced in Venezuela and not in any other place. These are bitter orange marmalade. Probably is not produced in Venezuela, but then we do one, let's pretend, okay? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> so one third. Yeah. After the marmalade, I want to put something that actually reminds me about Fabio. 
He keeps saying that Amaretto is a bridge between Italy and Venezuela. Is the ingredient that is actually going to bring him from Italy, Ireland, and after Venezuela, because he's there where he's going. <laughs> so I'm going to shake, double shake, two cocktails, sorry, in each shaker. So I'm going to put a full shot for Amaretto. Why are you so silent? <laughs> Say something. <laughs> Ah, Sorry. Okay. After Amaretto, we have the main ingredients, Diplomatico Mantuano. One of the, I'm pretty sure that all the bartenders say that Mantuano is a noble ram. Don Juancho was a noble person. Well, I'm going to say the same. This drink is going to be a noble drink. Fabio is a noble person. I'm Willy Wonka, so. <laughs> I don't even have to say. <laughs> so, as I say, one shot for each thing, 35.5 mil. Before I shake the drinks, I'm gonna give it a little stir to make sure that the marmalade is gonna melt inside the drink. Can you give me a clap of hands? And it's <laughs> Is it off? Yes. You got a lovely hair. Thank you. Thank you very much. Did you grow it yourself? <laughs> nice clap now. Yes. Yes. Change the ice. I don't want too much dilution in my drink. Again? Now this time, I remember Fabio <laughs> made a drink a bit like this and all the others. Let's try to be a bit better than him, okay? He's not a great person. <laughs> oh, I swear to God, he was running away like... Will you please? I was like, I don't even know you. I gave you a golden ticket. That's it. Like. Be happy with it. That dance because I don't know if I have enough in there. So. <laughs> and now, I need to put these glasses because, as I say, but in this situation I'm not Fabio, so I came ready. I'm gonna use a nice homemade foam with vanilla and coconut just to top it up. I'm glad it's nice. Now is almost the time to eat the cookies, so... And actually, can you give it a look to the golden paper, golden ticket? Can you open it? Will you want to put so much effort in what it does? Like, please. Hey, con la numero uno. Now, being Willy Wonka, I still have something left, left from my old job, so I'm just gonna... So does that mean we got a free trip to the distillery? Yeah, you can have with me. Well, with Fabio. <laughs> no, all it says we're invited to the It says we just show up. It works for the yeah, of course, I have some left of my old job. <laughs> Why'd you get Why'd you just quit the... Everybody <laughs> agreed in Diplomatico. The only thing, even little guys, they want Diplomatico. Like, I'm like, come on, eat chocolate. They're like, no. Columbus. 
Ja. Ah, um, 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 Please. Thank you. Thank you.